Black Friday seems to be the period of the one-up plugins for some reason. It's probably because it's an easy to sell thing and I think companies are thinking like, hey, while people are spending money, why not milk something more out of them by creating very small versions of our plugins. It has been going on for a few years already and it seems to be the same uh, this year as well. Some of them are really good, some of them are not that good and some of them are actually free. And one that I want to talk about today is one of those free categories. So let's quickly jump into Heatwave from Slate. All right, so this is the Heatwave plugin and this is what they are telling about Heatwave uh, on their website. It sets your sound on fire. This is Heatwave main control, use it to increase and modify saturation, EQ compression, everything starts with this knob. This is the first control you want people to try when using Heatwave for the first time, since turning it up will immediately showcase what the plugin does. This is the first control? It's the only control. The first control, it's just one control. <laughs> what do you mean with the first control? The input control is a level going into the heatwave algorithm that's controlled by the drive knob. This control can influence the overall sound of heatwave. It can be used in tandem with drive to customize your sound. Okay, but that's just, you know, normal gaining. Just like every unit needs to be gained. I wouldn't add that to the list of controls. That's just gain staging. Clip, oh, there's also a button, uh, adds a clipper on the output of the heatwave algorithm which can further alter the sound and potentially keep unwieldy transients under control. This level is controlled by input and drive. Okay, output control is the level coming out of heatwave. That's some professor shit! An output control that controls the level coming out of the plugin! This control comes after the clip button so the character achieved with heatwave isn't affected. Consequently, turning the output up can push the output level above 0 dBFS even with clip enabled. Yeah, and that's one of those features that some electronic music producers really like because they really think that it still matters so much to have a track that is mastered above 0 dBFS. Bypass uh, turns it on and off. Really? <laughs> wow. It would be nice to have a plugin developer create a plugin where the bypass button would actually do something else than turning it on and off. At a glance, it's free! So no snake oil, because snake oil is paying for something that doesn't work. One up saturation plugin, transition shaping, blah, 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 blah. This is it. Let's quickly take a look. All right, drive. Okay. Clip. In. And it doesn't automatically reduce the output. Okay, so we're going to do our non-auto gain dance again. Do the non-auto gain dance for me. That's basically what you're doing, adjusting in, adjusting out. Okay. Oh cool, so we can also only use the clipper. Oh, look, look, there's a tooltip. Hold shift to link with output trim. Okay, so let's reset this. Let's, 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 let's do this all over again. Let's, let's just boop. Rewind. Hold shift. It should be just enabled by default and hold shift if to, to unlink it. That's what I think, but anyway. Uh, okay. There we go. Out of game dance included in the plugin. So the plugin does the dance for us. All right, so we can clip the shit out of this. All right. And we can also drive it. Congratulations. That's it. That's it. I mean, what do you expect from a free plugin? Where's that 
magical bypass split that they were talking about. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. So that's it. It's just a saturator with which you can have a lot of fun because fun is also important, of course. Now, I do not use any Slate plugins at all. I'm not really in that ecosystem or something, so I don't really know what is going on in there. But what I've seen in the past is with these free one up uh, plugins is that there could be something happening in the background that is less fun. I'm not saying that uh, that is happening with this one, I have seen it happening in the background where all of a sudden because you purchase a free uh, plugin uh, it updates all of your plugins and then you have to purchase some subscription to updates or something you know so be aware of something like that happening i don't really think that it is happening at slate if it is happening let me know in the comments down below because then I'll pin that comment because then you shouldn't get the free thing. And the reason why I'm cautious with this is that, you know, if something is free, then what does pay for it? For instance, you can watch my videos for free. Like most of them are out in public on the YouTube channel. But I need to be paid. I need to eat. I need to pay this room that I'm in, that I'm renting. I need to pay a lot of stuff. So something needs to pay for that. And in my case, that's the ads that YouTube runs on my videos. I get a percentage of that. It's the memberships um, that you can find somewhere down below. And it's my affiliate links that I'll link over here. And I will always link in the description down below whenever I'm talking about a certain product. That's how I am being financed. And I'm always making sure to disclose that uh, in every single video that I'm making because I think it's important for all of you to know what is actually going on in the background. And with Heatwave, I don't know, could also be a marketing thing. Like that this thing pays for itself in marketing with brand awareness, uh, all that kind of stuff. From what I could figure out, there's nothing weird going on, but I'm always a little bit aware of talking about these type of plugins. So this is Heatwave. Uh, I'll link to Heatwave in the description down below. I can make it an affiliate link. Then a little bit of nothing gets kicked back to me. Yeah. Also, uh, I want to say that a marketing firm working for Slate did reach out to me, informing me about this upcoming release, but they didn't give me early access to it or whatever. And I'm just running the free public version of this thing. And I basically made this video because I wanted to and not because they wanted to or something. Just so you all know. Again, if you want to support this channel, uh, the links are all down below. And you can consider becoming a member and watch the videos on this playlist, for instance. Another way to support the channel is by simply watching more videos. So I'll link an interesting video over here. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing. And bye-bye.